Hello again and welcome. I was um, sitting and wondering what kind of video I should could do and I started thinking about the, the new gun that I got, the Pardini GT9 and it's uh, it's not so far off from my Glock 17L. So I thought why not uh, do a little comparison. Um, no range footage today, just uh, checking out the the differences and uh, yeah a little bit about the both and I will also uh, show you a little malfunction I had in this one uh, I will get to that later uh, I made a video I made video about the Glock before and the Pardini before also but they are quite similar as both of them are six inch um and would be nice to compare them a little bit the um, the pardini um i have uh, as i said i had some problems with it i will get to that but now it's fixed and it's shooting better than ever so uh, let's start Take the magazine out, it's clear, and we take the, the Glock mag out, clear also, well, 6 inch, both of them, so Let's see if we get the profile right, something like that. The Glock 17L, mine is a, a generation one. So I did modify it a little bit with um, this uh, hand thing here. What is it from Hogue? A Hogue grip. Because the, the Gen 1... Uh, the Gen 1... Uh, how can I say? The, the grip without this is it's terrible. Let's be honest. It's uh, just a block. And not so much to hold on to when it when you get sweaty palms and stuff i can totally rock it, recommend the the hog slip on the the grip plastic rubber sorry rubber thing it's really comfortable and it has the grooves here so it it becomes like a later gen uh, grip And what about the cutouts? We have a cutout on the G17 on top of the barrel, just like the uh, what is it? Glock 34, is it? I don't remember the model name now, but it has a cutout to uh, lighten the slide a little bit. I'm not sure if you need it on a Glock, but and the uh, Pardini GT9 also has the cutouts, as you can see in the barrel uh, slide here. This slide is a lot more heavier. So um, on this one, I, I totally see the point in it. They are actually quite similar in a way, these... Uh, these two, even if the Pardini, how can I show it the best way? The, the angle of the grip is a little bit more angled, if, 
if you know what I mean, than the Glock. You, you get a, a way better angle to hold it and shoot. I like this, I like this a lot. And to break down, everybody knows the, the Glock thing. Now comes the slide. This is so so plasticky and uh, so light. This one, but it's durable. Here we have the slide, and uh, um, the recoil spring and everything. And it's not so different from the Pardini. I will show you in a second. Put that to the side. The Pardini is almost the same. Uh, just back a little. And you push on this side here. Push it out a little bit. And then you can pivot to this. And the slide comes off. This I will return to soon. And here you have the internals. You have the recoil spring and everything here. It looks quite the same. And this one I have a little special recoil set up let me show you this one that has like a damper here at the bottom it's a extra thing for the pardini let's take out the barrel whoops And the naked slide. The Glock. Here I have the... It's in plastic, the... the this thing. And the... Yeah, but it works. And the barrel, the Glock, and the slide. Looks quite similar, don't you think? Anyway, let's compare the... Ooh, it was dirty. Let's compare the two barrels. This is the Pardini one. Compare it to the Glock. It's a huge difference. And much heavier. I can feel the weight of this barrel compared to this. Oh, it was dirty. <clears throat> I had some problem with this. Inside here, I'm not so sure if it no noticeable. There is a there is a very thin metal. Oh, should I call it like a trigger connector back to the that releases the hammer there the one I had before it's uh, it's connected to the trigger maybe you can see it move a little bit yeah it's connected to the trigger and pushes uh, to, the, to release the hammer 
The one I had inside is this. And it totally broke. It snapped. So, I got a new one. But, that's not the end of it. If you change those delicate parts in this, you have to be prepared to do some fiddling and uh, adjusting. Adjusting. I had to go to the the Pardini uh, sales guy here where I live. A bit far, but he took a look at it and these screws here, they were totally shot. They were so worn down, they had to replace them and um, adjust it. And he got it to function, finally. And um, now, as I said, it shoots perfectly. To uh, not really to compare them because but of course I shoot a lot better with the Pardini but the Glock has taken me quite far anyway so I'm not giving up the Glock I love the Glock because of its simplicity and uh, reliability it always always works and as it's a um, uh, seven inch, oh, uh, sorry, six inch. This I can show you. This is also a little bit of a pain in the ass. Because I changed the front side on this. And to get access, this hole was too small for uh, you have to have an original um, tool uh, to change this. So I had to dremel it wider to uh, get access. And I also had to cut off a little bit, dremel a little bit inside there to even get close to that screw. So uh, anyone who has a Glock 17L and don't know how to do that, you can do this. Let's reassemble. In place. Oh, shaky. Come on. No? Oh, that's the way. Functions. And the Pardini. Almost the same as the... They look a bit similar, these two. This one is a little bit more tricky, but... Because it's a bit longer, this one. Hmm. Let me try this. No. Whoops. It's hard to do this standing up and holding it in your hand. Oh, come on. Is this?
There you go. And it's in place. It's a bit oily. As and you take the bottom. Fits perfectly. Do it. Ah, do it left hand. Come on. Like that. Back in. Function. Oh yes. It does. So just a short video because they are so similar but still miles apart. If you ever have the chance to uh, try a Pardini, you should try it, especially the six inch, because it's a dream to shoot. And uh, the trigger package, I don't wanna mess with the trigger package right now because I have it perfectly set up. And you should try it because it's a wonderful, wonderful firearm. But I also love the Glock, so, um, but if I uh, go into competition, it has to be the Pardini, definitely. So, take care. Bye-bye.